A NASA spacecraft has briefly landed on an asteroid called Bennu, over 320 million kilometers from Earth. The Osiris Rex collected rock and dust samples that scientists hope will allow them to learn more about how planets formed and life began. Touchdown declared. <gasps> Two words that NASA scientists have waited for since 2016, when robotic spacecraft OSIRIS-REx started its journey to the asteroid Bennu. For the past two years of its mission, OSIRIS-REx has been orbiting the asteroid, looking for the perfect spot to land for only a brief encounter. A few seconds, almost like a kiss on the surface, was all the time OSIRIS-REx had to grab rock and dust samples from the asteroid seconds that have been years in the making. Uh, I can tell you that everything went Ugh. just exactly perfect, uh, which is kind of the hallmark of this team. Uh, we have consistently beaten expectations over and over again. We have overcome the amazing challenges that this asteroid has thrown at us, and the spacecraft appears to have operated flawlessly. It was the first time NASA has touched down on an asteroid, but it could be a week before scientists know if and how much the spacecraft grabbed. Still, the mission is already a success. I mean, I can't believe we actually pulled this off. <laughs> if the sample collection was successful, OSIRIS-REx will begin its long journey home and return to Earth in 2023. For more, let's bring in David Brown. He's an astronomer at the University of Warwick. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Brown. First of all, tell us, why is this mission so important? What do we hope to learn? Good morning. Well, this is a primordial asteroid. We think it hasn't changed very much since the, the beginning of the solar system, since the, star, the sun and the planets were all formed. So by studying it, we hope to learn a little bit more about those early stages of the solar system um, and how the Earth um, evolved, um, grew and formed, um, and how the different planets and different parts of the solar system have interacted with each other through time. Okay. Um this mission, we're talking about a four-year journey uh, just getting there, 300 million kilometers away, and the mission is only halfway through. What's the trickiest part of all this? Well, thankfully, the hardest part, the trickiest part, was the one that was completed last night, was the touch and grab maneuver. This had to be done completely remotely because of the time delay um, in receiving signals from the Earth to the spacecraft. Um, and because of the surface of the asteroid being a lot more um, boulder covered than they expected when they first got there, um, the, the spacecraft had to maneuver through some quite tight spaces. Um, but I think the hardest part has successfully been completed now. It's hard to imagine communicating with something over 300 million kilometers away. Is it clear that the spacecraft actually collected what it was hoping to get from that asteroid? Uh, not yet, unfortunately. Um, there were some photographs taken by the spacecraft during the touch and grab, um, but because the radio dish wasn't pointing at the Earth at the time, we haven't yet downloaded those images. Um, that should happen over the next couple of days, and that should tell us, um, in, give us some idea of whether it's been successful. There are also some other tests that the spacecraft will perform over the next week or so just to double check. Um, and if it turns out that it wasn't successful on this first attempt, they do have another chance and another potential landing site to try again. Okay, so you should know soon whether you actually got the dusts and rock that it was uh, set out to get. Uh, when will scientists actually be able to start analyzing the results of this mission completely? So the images, um, as I said, should come through um, in the next few days, there are other images that we'll get over a slightly longer time scale. So in terms of photograph analysis, um, that, analysis, that can start fairly soon. Um, actually analyzing the material we get back should be a few years. The spacecraft is due to return in 2023. Um, and that's really when we'll get our hands on this, this material and start, start digging into the mystery of this asteroid. Dr. Brown, perhaps we'll get a chance to talk again in 2023. Uh, David Brown from the University of Warwick, thank you very much.